Welcome to the course of Advanced Morph. So today we will teach you about how you can do Advanced Morph and about Simple Morph. So what is Advanced Morph and how does it look like? So let's start off with the slide. So this is Advanced Morph. As you can see, that the circle turned into a square and again it moved from one place to another but that that is the difference of advanced morph and morph so now i will go back and show you what actual like simple morph is so what i'm going to do is just delete all these shapes or maybe what i'm going to do is just show you like what is just basic morph so as you can see that there are tons of shapes and some text which are given here. So what I'm going to do is just delete all of them. And I will show you step by step how you're going to do each of those stuff. So first off, to show you like basic morphs, so I'm going to do is add some photos. So as I don't have any photos on my PC, so I'm going to do is add some photos from my stock images. Select any of them. I'm going to do the same thing on the second slide, click on it, and then I'm going to just add in the morph. So how are you going to add morph? Maybe you can see that it will directly take you to picture format or maybe like this insert design. Well, you're not going to get any of those stuffs in those tabs. So what you're going to do first is click the photo or you don't even have to click the photo. If you click the photo, it's just gonna show you picture format. Instead, what you're gonna do is just go to transition and animation. Well, animation is when you add in individual animations to your objects or maybe contents. But what you see here is transitions. So this is where you're gonna find morph. So when you click on morph, you will see that there are some types of transition going on. So let's start off without the morph. So I'm going to do is click on none, go to presentation mode, and you can see that there is nothing. But as I've added some morph in the second slide, you can see that there is a smooth transition at the end of the slide when it's going to second to the third. But from one to two, you will see that the transition is not that smooth, but it's a lot like 30 FPS, just changing the photos. So to make it more smoother, what you're going to do is just add in the morph. When you click on morph, you will see that you will get more transition and smoothness in your presentation. So I'm gonna do is just click on F5 to go to presentation mode. And I'm gonna do is just go to the second slide using the navigation buttons, which are space, enter, and the navigation buttons are arrow keys. So this is how classic morph works. Next thing what I'm gonna show you is about the advanced morph and how you're gonna do it. So I'm going to make the same thing which I did in the preview at first of the course. So I'm going to delete all of those. So when you open up PowerPoint, you will see an interface like this, right? So what you're going to do is add in some contents, which are some objects or maybe shapes or maybe icons and also 3D arts, images, models, and whatever you put. All of them are contents. Even texts are also contents. So next thing for though, so the first thing what I'm going to do is add in some shapes. So as you can see that this slide contains a title bar and a subtitle bar. So I'm going to remove all of it. You can keep it, but I prefer removing them. Just click on the corner of this diagram and then just remove it using the delete button. My bad. Now you can see that it has been deleted. Now what I'm going to do is add in some more slides. Well, to add more slides, obviously you can add in slide by using control M. Or just pressing here okay or you can select whichever type of slides you want what I'm gonna do is blank click on blanks now I'm gonna click on blank and I think I need another one so as you can see that I have four slides here you can also press Control plus M that will also add another slide but I don't need it so I'm gonna delete it for this while and now I'm gonna do the same thing which I did on the preview of the first of the lesson now first thing what I'm gonna do is go to insert tab and add in the shapes Click on shapes and then select whichever one you want. It's all your like your desire, whichever whichever one you pick. 
So first off, I'm going to do is click on the circle or the oval, whichever one I want, because I used the circle or the oval uh, in the previous one. So I'm going to add is the circle. So you can see that sometimes you click by holding your left mouse key and then just drag in however you want, but you will not get a perfect size. So if you want a perfect size or which is also termed as a hack, what you can do is just click on it and then press on to your shift key and then drag it. Now you can see that you have a perfect circle. Next thing what I'm going to do is add in the morph by going to transition. So when you go to morph, or maybe when you go to transition, just click on this morph, but not on the first slide. But what you're going to do is go to the second slide and then add in the same, like the shape, okay, or the content, whichever you have. If you want it to be on the same like area, what you're going to do is just click on it, copy it, go to the second slide or the third slide, whichever one you want. And then what you have to do is use designation theme. So it's going to put the same object or the same content in the same area, not even a pixel like different. So as you can see that all both of them are in the same area. So next thing what I'm going to do is now add the morph. When you add the morph, what you're going to do is click on it and drag it whichever side you want. So I'm going to do is drag it right there. But if you want like difference, you can drag it over here, you can drag it over there. It's all up to your imagination. So what I'm going to do is just drag it over here this time. A bit different, right? Next thing what I'm going to do is add in another photo because I want the shape to turn into something else. Okay. But if you just add in morph here, just morph. So what I'm going to do is just go to presentation mode and you can see that it just changes its position. Well, that's all what it does. That is just simple morph, but I want the circle to turn into a square. So what I'm going to do is go to insert again, click on shapes. Now I'm going to do is turn it into a square. So I'm going to do the same process again by holding onto my shift key and then dragging my left, left mouse key, however I desire, and then making the shape wherever I want it to be. So now you will see that the circle has now turned into a square, but it's just overlaying it. So how will you see that it has turned into a square? So obviously you can go to animation or transition and then just preview it however you want. But next thing what I'm going to do is just click on preview. Well, you can see that it has been not that smooth. So I'm going to do is click on it, go to shape format, go to selection pane. And I'm going to do is oval is going to like overlay this rectangle. So I'm going to do is take it up. Okay. Maybe you might find it a bit weird, but let's see how it looks like. If it's not, just do the same thing, like undo it, and it will look a bit better. If it doesn't look better, what I'm going to do is just click on undo. Well, that's all it takes. Now I'm going to do is add in some text, which I did first. So I'm, I did it as some word art. So I'm going to do is advanced morph. Click on it. Well, that it's kind of done. Now I'm going to go to the second slide or the third slide again. Next thing what I'm going to do is click on it, copy, go to third, paste it, same designation. Now I'm going to do is click on it, go to animation or transition, click on morph. And now what I'm going to do is add in circle or triangle there. So I'm going to do is go to insert again. Now I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to do is make a triangle out of this. I guess it's big enough. I hope it covers up or it doesn't. So I'm going to do is make it a bit bigger. In case if you want it, I'm going to do is take it over here. Okay. Well, that works. Now what I'm going to do is take the same text on the fourth slide, click on it, copy, go to the fourth slide. I'm going to paste it on the sa same destination and I'm going to do the same thing on the next one. Do is copy and paste. Now what I'm going to do is even though we have some difference from the like the first preview, but it's quite the same. So I'm going to go to presentation mode. Okay, I forgot one thing. So I'm going to do it just go to fourth slide and add a transition. So I'm going to do is add in some transitions. And my bad, I didn't have the advanced morph here. 
I'm going to do is copy the same thing, copy, and then paste. Now, as it all done, now I'm going to do is go back, go to presentation mode, and then play. So that is how advanced morph works. And as I've shown you previously how basic morph works. So that's the difference. And now you can do advanced morph and basic morph, all of it. Well, that's it for this course. See you in the next course.